Hey, everyone. Hi, how's everybody doing? Yay. Woo, I love that. Great. Give me five. <laughs> that was loud. <laughs> I know, it's fair. So I just want to say welcome, everybody. Welcome to the close of our 2023 version of Security B-Sides Las Vegas. Um, got a few things we want to go ahead and get covered here. We have some contests to cover, some content we want to discuss, um, and a few other fun things to talk about. Uh, thank you all for being here. And I'm going to go ahead and start off by handing off to Damon who's going to, I know, shock and awe, um, where he's going to go ahead and give us a little information on the content that we had, were able to see this past couple of days. Monsieur. Hey, everybody. Um, I, I, before I get started, uh, is there anybody here who went to a talk at B-Sides? <laughs> Unlike DEF CON, yes, there are talks at B-Sides, and like 90% of you actually got into one, so that's uh, like a big point in our favor as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. But... Uh, uh, actually, it's it's uh, the whole point like that started this conference is is getting people to be able to speak, getting those voices out, having those conversations, right? So it's it always it's really um, kind of uh, satisfying to me to see like we had over 400 submissions this year in in across 10 different tracks, um, and that is amazing. Like to me to see uh, the the community that that uh, participates in that here that that people come here to speak they come here to have a conversation rather than just kind of I mean and don't get me wrong I love everything else right contest games all this like this is all incredibly important it's they're all ways to get people engaged get people involved get people to like actually become actors uh, rather than spectators which to me is what B sides is all about right um, but anyhow. All that to say, uh, had a couple of uh, really great keynotes this year, to my mind. I, I, uh, I really deeply enjoyed the sort of personal and, and emotional retrospective over the, the evolution that we've had here with I Am the Cavalry over the years, which is one of the things that makes B-Sides very special. That, that movement that started here, that's grown beyond us into like ways that we can't possibly, you know, uh, uh, couldn't possibly have imagined at the time that it did start. But um, it is, uh, it was nice to see sort of a, a culmination of that. Like we have actually in, affected the course of legislation at the federal level in the United States. This is something that 10 years ago, like nobody thought that we could do and we did it. Hackers, hackers did that, right? And then at the same time, we, we have a, a kind of a soft spot for um, trying to look at things in a, in a cross-disciplinary and sort of esoteric way. We, we, we've had neuroscientists come and present keynotes. We've had uh, behavioral economics, you know, uh, in, on our keynote stage. And this year, having Sunil come here and kind of talk about how AI is transforming the very nature of like what a, a CISO is, what a security department should care about, what you know we as security professionals will contribute to society, and the way that we will you know, transform uh, corporations and the and the the way that they conceive of their intellectual property and uh, the way that we steward it, I thought was you know, for me very interesting. But all of that is wonderful and exciting and new, and it, it, I love to see the forefront of the conversation happening here. But for me, in my deep, deep, deepest heart, the thing that I love the most in our, in our talk program here, in our, in our content program here at B-Sides, is proving ground, right? And this is the thing that, again, we've done a lot of firsts here, right? We were the first people talking about gender issues, first people talking about uh, mental health issues, first people you know, talking about all of these things, but we're also the first people that I know of anyway, who had this formal mentorship program for bringing voices into the broader security community, putting them on a national stage, people who have never spoken at that level before, pairing folks with a mentor for six months to work on their idea and make the delivery of that something that is like, you know, as impressive as any talk that you'll see anywhere in the world, right? So um, I do want to make a special plea to folks, uh, all of you, everybody watching on stream, everybody, 
bring more people into the Proving Ground program. I would love to be at the point where I cannot possibly, like I have to find another room to host Proving Ground in, where, where we're running out of mentors, right? And it's, we see these people, people come and they, they learn, they talk, they, they give that Proving Ground talk and then they come back and they give a talk of their own. And then two years later they come back and they're mentoring someone in that program. And I love that about this. This is one of the, for me, it's one of the, the best things that we do here. And so please, every one of you, if you can go out your homework for next year for B-Sides, right? And it doesn't, like, it's, you've got a couple months off, don't worry, you don't have to do it right away. But, but in January of next year, I want everybody in this room to find someone that they know is, is just an, an amazing person who has never had the chance to share with the world how amazing they are and get them into this program, okay? And if you do that, like, I mean, my heart will probably pop, but you know. Don't let that happen. That said, the other thing that I think is for exactly the same reasons, just as amazing at B-Sides, is our pros versus Joe's CTF. The way that we do CTF is fundamentally different than anyone else, and it's the, one of the coolest things that we do. And I want my brother Dichotomy to come up here and talk about that. All right, thank you. Good evening, B-Sides. It is a pleasure to be here, and I'm waiting for my staff to come up, as I told them to please do so. Um, but I'm Dichotomy. I run the Pros vs. Joe's uh, CTF. been doing it since 2013 here at LV. It is our pleasure to be here. We are honored to be part of this amazing conference. Uh, Pros vs. Joe's, for those who don't know, is an offensive-defensive CTF that is all about teaching our Joe's, teaching the people who are new to the community, who want to become part of cybersecurity, who want to be part of the industry, make a job here. Maybe it's a passion for them. And we are all about helping them learn through a bit of a crucible, where we give them some environments to protect. We bring a red team to do, play the part of the advanced persistent threat <clears throat> uh, to do all kinds of shenanigans and help them learn through that hard experience in a two-day intensive affair that is it, it, it it's People have had amazing things to say about it, and we're flattered to do so. And the key point I want to make is we have these people standing up here. I am just the figurehead. I don't do a whole lot these days. There are these people here, my staff, who deserve a round of applause. They do some amazing things to make this happen. It hap we work on it through the year. It doesn't happen without them. We have here, we have Uplink, iDigital Flame, Gabe the Engineer, Tectonic, I found it this way, Watchdog, Imposter, Prominent, Misfit, Matier, Luftgraft, Hazar, E5, Nita Mulligan, Jeff, Mark, Spike Roche, Hexer Mad, Malware Mama, SLR, 3Bob, and Endgame, and Cause. And that's just the people who helped us run this year's game. We have other staffers who are continuously helping and doing amazing things. And so we're here to do this for the community. Uh, we're here to help things move along. And we really appreciate all the support that we have and we love doing this and we love it. So Cindy, I think you have, uh, what, I think you're next? Yeah. Or, okay, yeah, so thanks. Cindy. So We absolutely want to make sure to not miss the fact that Dichotomy is the one who's been running this for years now and has been just kicking butt and giving the opportunity for some of our participants to come in and kick butt. People who may not have come otherwise, so it's very exciting for everybody to be able to see that. So thank you, Dichotomy. I appreciate it. Awesome. Okay. So one of the... <laughs> One of the cool things that we are able to do here, we are a 501c3. We are a charitable organization. Um, and one of the things we like to do is have the opportunity to give back to some worthy charities. Uh, we've got some amazing charities that we give, or that we're working with on a every year basis. EFF is one of those. So I just want to say shout out to EFF because they are amazing, right? Oh, all right. I might be representing, I don't know. <laughs> um, another one of the charities that we selected to support this year um, is the Cognitive Security Institute. And I have a very long, I had to write this out because what they're doing is really exciting. It's really important. I didn't want to mess this up. So my understanding is that what the, a big part of what they're doing is taking, looking at the global view and how the world has been expanded. You know, we're having everything's closer and closer together now, even though we're still the same size globe, we're still getting closer and closer together. Um, they have a YouTube, cha YouTube channel that is the, the, the purpose of it is to share information and to facilitate 
understanding of the intersections between, I'm reading this now, technology and the human mind with an uh, extreme focus on emerging security threats, which is really exciting, and as well as informa and information processing and how that gets processed not only from a technology perspective, but using that, you know, the human mind and how those things are intersecting across the board. And it's really interesting when you get to talk to anthropologists, um, sociologists, and you think about those kinds of aspects. Something that I nerd out on a lot, actually. So I'm really looking forward to watching some more YouTubes on it personally. So I just want to say a huge shout out to them, and we're more than happy to support them. One of the ways that we support them is through our silent act, uh, silent auction, excuse me, and our raffle. And I think a lot of folks were able to participate on that this year. Do we have some updates? Yes. Come on up. This is Xanadu. Xanadu runs our silent auction and raffle. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Well, I honestly thought we were only going to get three items because that's all I knew that was actually going to show up. But we had 33 more items donated for us to auction and raffle off. That's fabulous. Wonderful. Woo! Um, <laughs> I know several of you in here have no clue on whether or not you've actually won, um, but I'm going to try to read off the names, your handwriting, not the best. And again, none of you do. I don't either. Okay. Eddie Artwork, um, Goddare, G-O-D-D-A-R-E, Goddard. Not near? All right. That's All right. So let them know if these are claimed by the end of the closing. We're going to we're gonna auction them. Yeah. So at the end of this, once we're done, we're going to raffle off anybody who is not here. So if you are here when I call your name, your stand item. up now. <laughs> Anything not claimed by the end of the show is being yep. auctioned, not raptured. Ra yeah. <laughs> Anything not claimed is auctioned, not a silent auction, loud, not raffled. Pardon me about that. All right. That was for the Eddie the Yeti, Eddie the Yeti artwork. artwork. Um, we have the Darknet Tangent or Darknet Badge Kit 23. Ashley S. Ashley S. Mm -hmm. um, Army train for Bitcoin's collection. <laughs> so you don't have an army train? Oh, no, I saw him earlier. I saw him. Army train. <laughs> okay. Next one. Um, Allison Bob's learning application. Army train. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like we're going to have our auction. <laughs> <laughs> Men's XL, uh, B sides, Sal Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Oh. Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. 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 Brazil. 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 Thanks. We're so, really tired. <laughs> is Dorigen, D R G N? Dorigen? Yeah. Sure. Yes. 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 Okay. I yeah, huh? yeah. Ashley's here as well. Beautiful. Sweet. Okay. All right. Um, women's. Georgian. <laughs> Donated from Hardware Hack the Car Hacking Village. Um, Harbus. <laughs> You just want to come up and sit up here? Is it not? <laughs> Harvest. Once, twice, no. Auction. <laughs> All right. Uh, P T P O C G T T F O. Acronyms are hard. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Aliska. Aliska. Woo! Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, All right. We have the U.S. drone donated by Ralph and Stephanie De Frensko. Mm. Um, we have Scarpenter. Scarpenter. 
Sharp and easy. <laughs> if you think you did win it, come see me Aww. too. If you bit on it, come see it. <laughs> yeah, you bit on it. Jeez. Words. I'm not used to being up here, so. You're doing a great job. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Um, mystery bag, number three, Aliska. Aliska, again. What's up? Mystery bag number one, Prism Q. Sweet. Yes. Darknet badge, Demon Face. <laughs> Martin. Marion? M A R R I N? Marin? Penmanship. Marin. Marin. Marin Lightner? Lightner? Okay. Done. All right, next. <laughs> The B-Sides Las Vegas patch from Operation Yestern. Only 100. Amy. Looks like Amy. Okay. Circle City Con. Oh, the 10th. Origin. Again. Awesome. It's here. This is a Horizon Cybersecurity Summit Bronze Partnership, SEMGREP. Anybody from SEMGREP going to be here? Nope, I don't see that. Nope. Hurts. All right. Um, custom DEFCON 31 badge. DT. Who's that? Good question. <laughs> oh, that DT. That, that DT. DT. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lusky's Key, Army Train. Still not here. Still not. All right, so these are all going to go yeah. back. We got that one. Uh, huh? Oh. Do you want to auction off a Falcon t-shirt? We could add it to the store sure. for sure. I mean, that's I never great. turn anything away. Do you want to do that? That's me. Not really. Size that's large, we'll do This that is how much we've raised so far. OK, we'll do that at the end. Wait, what yep. do you have to call her? OK. Thank you. So Those, we don't know our total yeah. yet. Because nope. we're here. We don't yeah. know our total yet. We don't okay. know our total yet because we've got to auction some, off, some stuff off live. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that are going for auction. These are the ones that have been claimed. Yep. And they've been separated by names. Thank you very much. I know. <laughs> I have to be organized with paperwork because, you know. Okay, so thank you, Zana. I do appreciate it tremendously. And thank you guys who donated and who bid on the silent auction. It really does go to some amazing causes. So thank you very much. Oh, one thing we did not mention was a very specific item that was directly donated and all proceeds were going to the EFF. Yeah. And that was Jack's guitar. Ooh. So our loving, one of our loving founders, uh, Jack Daniels, uh, is constructing guitar guitars now in his, uh, yeah, in his retirement. That's how he's spending a lot of his time, or some of his time anywhere. And uh, Tiffany, what was the, uh, do we have a total? It ended up coming in at $1,500 that went straight to the EFF. So that's pretty cool. Awesome. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the people who are here, the people who we outreach to right now. One of the groups that we always want to go ahead and encourage to be here are folks from the local community as well as students. Um, students, it's kind of challenging sometimes. I mean, we've all been a student at one point in time. A lot of us ate a lot of ramen. You know, so we give the uh, the Utes. Um, we give the, <laughs> well, if they're from the University of Utah, they are Utes. Anyways, I could recover. See, uh, we give the 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 students that are coming out of the local colleges as well as the local community here the opportunity to uh, purchase badges at a much reduced uh, cost. And this year we sold out of both both styles, so that's really cool. Um, we did have some incredible numbers that registered as participants, donors, super donors, and that's something we want to, that's amazing as well. Um, but the ones that really stick in my heart and that I really appreciate is being able to have those students come in. It feed, can feed into dichotomies program. It can feed absolutely into, you know, going to the proving ground set, um, getting those mentors, making conversations, having conversations with everybody here, sitting at the tables over in common ground, having the opportunity to meet people who may influence their future. And that's just one of the best things in the world. So once again, echoing, or sorry, Damon's 
comments about the, you know, the proving grounds and everything else and getting those new voices, being able to identify those new voices by letting those folks come in in a little bit of an easier way, it's kind of something that's close to my heart. So, um, a couple other things just to bring up real quickly. Damon was very eloquent in describing the I Am the Calvary track, and they are, it's, they've been here for 10 years now. This is their 10th year, so we are more than happy to have them here. We know that you all get a lot out of them, and they're doing, they are letting us as a community do a lot of real good, solid work, and it's excellent to see. So I do want to give them one more props. Um, we also have a pretty unique track in where it's, it's the full track. And I'm not sure if we were one of the first ones to do something like Higher Ground, but we may have been. Yeah, no, that was, that was yeah. yeah, I think so. So for those of you who didn't have the opportunity to participate in it and would like to in future years, because we really want you to come back, um, Higher Ground is a track where we do everything from uh, career coaching to resume review, um, we will do interview, you know, they'll have interviews there and a lot of our sponsors participate just for that track alone to be able to start gathering candidates. It's a great opportunity to go ahead and build your own, you know, help develop your own career path or potentially influence those around you and maybe pick up new hires along the way. So just keep that in mind. It's a great way to sponsor. So, yes. I would be absolutely remiss if I didn't say thank you all of our wonderful sponsors. Thank you sponsors. Literally could not do this without you. I had the opportunity to walk around Common Ground uh, yesterday and just thank the, the folks working the tables there. If they weren't the ones who signed on the dotted line, I asked for that, that message to be please be passed up to the folks who did because we could not be here without their assistance in their contributions to helping develop this community. So thank you so much sponsors. Let's give them a huge round of applause. <laughs> Kelly is standing in her thoughts, but she she is, but now you have to stand because something I need to do is introduce Kelly. Kelly is our amazing uh, chief operations officer. She herds the cats. She cracks the whip when necessary. And she does a fabulous job, job to bring you the, con the content and the, the experience that you have here. So I'm gonna hand it over to Kelly, Kelly really quick. Um, I am not the person who likes being out in front of. <laughs> yeah, um, that's why I have a Damon. <laughs> um, but it, I, it's very important to me to have the opportunity to come up here and talk about uh, the staff and volunteers. Uh, besides, yes, uh, besides doesn't happen without every piece coming together, the sponsors, the content, um, but uh, as you have probably noticed as you've been walking around or sitting in tracks, uh, this thing doesn't happen without the people who are in the orange, the blue, and the purple shirts. Um, my staff works year round, we plan, we talk, we try to have game nights, we end up make, coming up with new ideas about how to improve the conference. Um, you know, all of these volunteers in orange and blue are working their butts off, missing out on all of the stuff that, that everybody else gets to see in order to make it run, in order to make sure that our, our speakers are treated well, in order to make sure that we're able to get our, our video out to the internet so that everybody possible is able to be exposed to the interesting things that we're talking about. Um, we are a team, we are a family, um, and it just, this is not possible without them. You're, you don't even see all of them here because they're still working, they're breaking down, they're putting things away and getting ready for next year. So uh, you'll see a lot of us tonight at the pool party when we finally get to blow off some steam. Um, <laughs> please, uh, first of all, give them a round of applause here.
And when you see them this evening or when you see them walking around at DEF CON or, or at your regional, local regional B-Sides events and, and other things, please do give them a big thank you. And from me personally, I thank you deeply. I love you. It's uh, really a privilege for me to get to work with you all and do this thing. This community is very important to me, and the work that we do is very important. Thank you all. We love you, Kelly. So I, one last thing that I want to say before we get to have the joy of the, we go ahead and kick off the auction here. Are, are you going to go ahead and help us with that? Oh, yeah, Zaz awesome, Zaz has got it under control. I'm so excited about that. Um, I want to thank you all, the participants, the donors. I really, my goal with joining B-Sides as a volunteer a long time ago was to be able to give something back to the community. Because I had been taking for a while, I've been listening to talks, you know, here, there, and the other, but I hadn't really contributed. So going ahead and starting the volunteer path that I did gave me the opportunity to ensure that I was giving back, but also so that people could participate in these conversations. We could get the new ideas, we could see the new things. And by you all participating, by having those, conf you know, conferences, sorry, those, co those conversations over in Common Ground, in the hallways, at various tables throughout the, you know, the Tuscany space, just watching everybody communicate, I've just got to say, I'm so excited to see that type of growth and seeing how it's impacting different areas of, the, of our industry. And I want to thank you all for coming here and having taken the time to spend your time doing it here at B Sides LV. Um, it's I love y'all. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, yeah, I think that about wraps it up. I mean, come back, contribute to the CFP. I mean, add, you know, submit to the CFP next year. Check it as Joe's versus pros. I just realized I didn't introduce who I was at the beginning of this. <laughs> My name is Cindy Jones. You can reach me at cindy at bsidesLV.org. If you would like to have, you want to send any comments in. What do you do? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm the president of the board of directors. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a volunteer. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> so feel free. If you have any questions, anybody, staff, volunteers, especially our, the folks who are participating in our events, Please feel free to let me know if you have any questions or concerns, or if you have some neat ideas. And who knows, maybe you'll end up wearing a purple shirt. Okay, Thank Zaz. you. Zaz, you're up. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna, uh, we're gonna knock out this auction pretty quickly, but just before we do, um, I'm gonna ask you to indulge me for just a minute. Um, we had a teenage volunteer on the, um, you know, on the AV desk and uh, the progeny of one of our staff members. And on the first day, the said staff member came and he said, I asked, I asked him who he was hanging out with and he said, he wears glasses and he talks funny and he's, and he's old like you. And so in my role as loudmouthed old person, I had to explain to him what a B-side is. And I said, you know, back in the mists of time, recorded music came on a physical platter and there'd be like an album track on one side and on the other side was some music that the band thought people needed to hear. It didn't make the album, but people needed to hear it. And B-Sides is the same kind of thing. B-Sides, the conference, is a rejection of gatekeeping and it's a rejection of artificial scarcity. It's about sharing what we know, right? And so anyone here who, sh over the last couple of days, if you shared anything, any knowledge with anyone, if you educated anyone, thank you. Give yourselves a round of applause. All right, we're gonna try to make this as quick and painless as possible. Um, I did the Eddie artwork. For, for each one, I'm just gonna quickly just, once again, see if the person who bid on it is here. If you bid on the Eddie the Yeti extremely online artwork, and your name looks anything like Goddare, speak now or forever hold your peace. Where are we gonna start the bidding here? Are we gonna start on the, the, last, the, the, se the second to last or the last? The last. Okay, so the, the opening bid here is $250. Do we have that artwork to show people? Or? She's got it right there. Okay, right here. <laughs> Original Eddie the Eddie artwork. Do we have $250? Okay. 
What do we do if we have no bids? What's the, what's the plan here? Who's the, who's the second bidder? The, the, okay, the second bidder is Dave, Dave Janice. Johannes or something like that. Okay. What? So we're at two, sorry, two hundred. Yeah. Do I hear two hundred dollars for this original piece of Eddie artwork? It's not a copy. It's not a copy. It's not a print. It's hand drawn. Yeah. Let's let, let. How about this? Is do we have an opening bid for this piece of original artwork? Who's fifty dollars in the back there? All right, fifty dollars. Who? At sixty dollars here in the front. Sixty dollars. Six, seventy dollars, seventy dollars in the black shirt. Do we hear? Do I hear eighty? Do I hear eighty? Eighty, eighty there. One hundred dollars here in the front. One hundred dollars. Any advances on one hundred dollars? One hundred dollars going once, going twice. What are you bidding? One twenty. One twenty. One twenty. Any advances on one twenty? One twenty-five here in the front. One one twenty-five. Going. Five, that's, a, that's a cube. Any, anyone, anyone going to go six cubed? That's five cubed. Do I hear six cubed? <laughs> Maybe not. All right, got one, $125. Going once. Going twice. Sold to one dark one in the front. I, I, I like this model. I think we should just have, a, have opening bids. This is the, donated by Lolski. Um, what is it? Oh, deep, deep Bass X wireless headphones. And then some. Original starting bid twenty five dollars. What what am I what am I bid on these wireless headphones? Sixty dollars here in the front. Sixty five in the back. One ten here in the front. All right, that's, that's what we like to hear. This is this is all to support B side. One one twenty. One twenty five. 125 here in the front. Any advances on 125? You got Google. <laughs> one, 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 125 going once, going twice. Sold here in the front. Front row is taking control here of this auction. Come, come put your name on it. What's next? Okay, this is a bronze partnership package for the Horizon Cybersecurity Summit, October 2 to 4, 2023, in Turtle Bay Resort, Hawaii. Ooh. Sounds pretty nice. Um, do I hear a starting bid? Start, original starting bid was $75. Well, $100. $100 over here on the right. Any advances on $100? The Horizon Cybersecurity Summit, Turtle Bay, Hawaii. Sounds pretty fun. $100, going once, going twice, sold. Okay, a dark net badge kit uh, with a demon face. So it's a DIY solder kit. It's part of the dark net competition at DEF CON. Um, there is no starting bid here. So what, what am I bid? We can't see it, but I, the, you know, the dock net is one of the, 40 bucks, 40 bucks, 50, yeah, it's 60, it, it's this year's dock net badge, 80 bucks, a hundred dollars to the Australian in the front, he'll set a drop bear on you, what, what was it, 150, 150 all the way in the back, 160 over here on the right, any advances on 160, I'm hearing 160, 170, 180, 190, bidding's coming thick and fast folks, 190, and do I hear 200? An even 200 here in the front. An even 200 for this darknet badge. 200? No, we have to. We have 200. We have 200. I like the hacking. 220? 250? 250 in the back on the left. $250 for this darknet badge DIY kit for this year's DEF CON darknet. 250 going once. 255. Ooh. Ah, uh, we might we might need some bigger increments, but 255, 275, 275 there in the back, 275, 280, 280. Do we have an even 300? 
Can anyone give me an even 300 for this darknet badge? Three, three is a dark number. <laughs> for the EFF, people. Yes. This is for the EFF. EFF. Do I hear 300? 280 in the back here. Going once. 290 in the front. 290. The man in the plaid shirt. 300 in the back. And even 300. Any advances on 300? Going once. Going twice? Sold. 300 to the back. Thank you very much. Okay, this is this year's car hacking village badge. Probably has all kinds of car hacking functionality. What do I hear it's opening the bidding for this year's car hacking village badge? 100 in the front. Good round number. 190? Do I hear in the back the man with the towel? 190. Do I hear 200? 250. 250 here in the gray shirt. Any advances on 250? What? 300. This, this is a man who knows where his towel is. 300. He's a hoopy fruit who knows where his towel is. Any advances on 300? 300 for the Car Hacking Village badge. It, 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 is, it is really cool. 310. Um, I had a look at it when it was over there. It's got silver, red, red and, uh, red and white silk screen, black board. Very nice looking badge. <laughs> Any advances on 310? Going once, going twice, sold for 310. This is an autographed copy of Alice and Bob Learned Learn Application Security, signed by SEMGRAP, uh, or I guess signed by the author and donated by SEMGRAP, maybe. Any opening bid on this signed book? 20 bucks here in the front. 60? I hear 60, the man in the red cap. Any advances on 60? Once again, we're supporting the EFF here. This is ultimately supporting all of our digital rights online. Any advances on $60 for this autographed book? Going once, going twice, sold for $60. Thank you very much. Uh, it was in the gray shirt, all the way on the right. <laughs> With his hand, his hand up. up there. No, okay, okay. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Oh, very nice. <laughs> so here we have a collection of physical cryptocurrency coins donated by spam. Six different cryptocurrency coins in physical metal form. They do not have any private keys. There's no real cryptocurrency here, but they're, they're good, good looking coins. Um, that's right. <laughs> these, these are the original non-fungible token. What, what am I gonna be bid for this six coin? <laughs> $10 here. No. no. Whole, whole amounts only. $20 here in the front. 30. Any advance on 30? 35? 40? I hear 60. 60, that's $10 a coin. <laughs> 70? None, none of these coins were created by Sam Bankman Fried, all right? These are valuable coins. I hear $70. Any advance on 70? $80? 90. <laughs> Satoshi in the front, but I heard 100 from, from someone behind. One, well, no, I had, I had 100 over here, so any advances on 100? Well, give me 120, all right, 120, $20 a coin. 120, 140, 130. $130. Any advances on 130? 140. Oh, well, come on. You, 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 you can do 150. Give me 150. 150 for these coins. 160. <laughs> A bidding war. Just, <laughs> this is going to be the future. Th these things are going to be the future of money. This. You, having, having this as a display on your mantelpiece will never get old. What, what are we at? I forgot. 160, right? 
160. 160. Going once. Going twice. Sold. Thank you, sir. 160. All right. Are we? Who was it? Sorry. Um, the man in the dark gray shirt. Oh, our friend. Wait. So this is this is a giant pile. This is a giant pile of stuff toys. of toys. We got, toys. Uh, we got we got some kind of a drone. We got a stuffed Star Wars thing. Um, a VR smartphone headset. So it's it's part of U.S. Drone Con. Um, so what am, what am I bid on this collection of things that you'll you'll make you'll definitely make a friend with some teenager with this uh, with this stuff. Fifty bucks in the front. Any advances on fifty bucks? Sixty. I hear a hundred dollars. I hear a hundred dollars. Any advances on one hundred? One hundred dollars. One ten. One ten from the gentleman in the black mask. One hundred and ten dollars. Going once, going twice, 120. 120 from the extremely generous man who's, who's uh, purchased at least one thing here before, supporting the EFF. Thank you very much, $120. Any advances on 120? Going once, twice, sold for 120, and thank you for your generosity. The last one? Nope. Okay. All right. This is an interstitial one. Just donated minutes ago by a, a, a person who is bidding also here and, is, and has also brought up a drink. So a very generous person in the front row, a ThoughtCon, uh, like a Stormtrooper clown t-shirt, size large. $40. $40. Buying back his own donation. Come on, folks. Like, you've got to respect that. Don't, don't, don't make this person buy back his own donation. Fifty dollars for the shirt. Fifty dollars. Any advances on fifty? Once, twice. Sold for fifty dollars. Thank you. Thank you for saving this generous man from having to buy his own donation back. Much appreciated. What do we have left? We have this. Donated by our own one dark one. Ah, donated by one dark one. A sticker and badge collection. Safety third. What, what am I bid for this? $50 in the front. Sir, if I had a hat, it would be off to you. $50 for this sticker collection. 60. 60 in the back. What am I advanced on 60? 80. 80, 80 in the back. What a, what a fabulous crowd. I, I have tears in my eyes right now. $80 for these stickers. I'm sure also you could get one duck one to sign them or something too. Oh, there's, oh, wow, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Glow-in-the-dark PVC patches, uh, and who knows what else is in here. Any advance on $80? Is, will anyone give me an even 100 for this? Will anyone give the EFF an even 100 that's, for this? That's right. $100 in the back. Thank you. $100. Going once, twice, sold. Very generous, all of you. Thank you. Is that the last one? That's it. That's it. Folks, thank you very much. Fantastic. We'll, we'll hopefully have a total for you soon about what we've been able to contribute to the EFF. At the pool party, we'll announce it. Thank you, and thanks for coming to B-Sides Las Vegas. If you just won, please bring your cash up to the front here. And for everyone here, whether you won or not, remember, you are changing the world with every conversation you have here and with every bit of participation you provide.